Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are stood in front of the starter house and that's because I'm gonna be renovating the starter house using all the new items they just added in the update. So I've renovated the starter house before and I've built a room with the new items before. So I thought I'd combine these ideas into one video. So before we start renovations, I think we should take a look around the house. And you guys have all seen the starter house before. It's just this basic thing you get thrown into when you first join. We have a bedroom in here, which is gonna be so fun to decorate with the new items but let's jump straight into build mode. So those of you who have watched my renovations before know I will keep the same layout of the rooms. But I am definitely going to be getting rid of all of these windows and also pretty much all of this furniture too. I want a blank canvas to work with and I'm also just adding a blank floor. Now I love the start house but I think it's just a little bit too small so I'm going to add like another half a story on. There is a way to make rooms one and a half stories high. So I'm only going to talk about it briefly because I've already showed you in another other video but basically you just grab a square like this you then pull it out so it's at its biggest you then put this along all the flooring and we should probably actually delete everything in the bedroom because we're doing it in here as well. And I love doing this because it literally feels like it's not even blocks, but it feels like it's just a building game. But anyway, you then use the transform tool and you are going to push it up to like halfway through a roof. And then you go through and do it for them all just like I did last time. And then to cover it up from the outside, you can just throw a roof on there. And by the way, we will come back and fix the outside. But now look, the rooms are just a little bit taller. Obviously they look mental right now because of the wallpaper. So let's quickly change that. And honestly, I'm feeling like a green vibe today. So I'm gonna paint all the walls green. And now we need to add the wall trims. But as you can see, if we were to add normal ones, they wouldn't go as high as the new ceiling. So you actually have to go into structural and go into these custom ones. Then you can just move them up yourself. So I'm doing this all around the room and look how cool it ends up being. And we are done with the wall trims. And as you can see, we've got a few bits that like aren't aligning properly, but we can fix that using some traditional pillars. And I'm gonna put these in all of the corners. And I'm sorry, but how grand does this look, guys? Would you know that this is the starter house if you went inside? I don't think you even would, but we've barely even begun yet with the new items. So let's add these last wall trims and color everything. I think I'm gonna go for white. The last thing to do before we can start decorating is to add the windows, because I always forget to add windows. So of course we are going to resize them because a room this big needs big windows and somebody actually commented that I could use these on top of the windows to like make it look higher. Oh my gosh, you actually can. Okay, so if I resize these just a tiny bit wider so they like align. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Maybe just one in the middle here because we don't want to overdo the windows and then one in the kitchen. Then we should add the tops to all of the windows. And wow, this literally looks like a castle or something. I love it. So the very last thing is to add the doors and I'm going to make custom doors. I've been obsessed with like custom building lately. So how you do a custom door like this is you go into structural, you get a standard square beam, then you basically put it across the whole door like this. And it will look weird at first, but let's just color everything. And then you can use the transform tool again to just push these inside the door. And then just like that, you've got yourself a custom door. How nice does that look? So now let's decide where everything's going. So I think we should stick with like the same design with like the dining room over here. And honestly, I love the look of a round table. So let's use one of these again. I'm pretty sure in the update they added, yes, they added new stools. So we can use these for our table because obviously the whole aim is to be using as much new stuff as possible. Then maybe we could use some of the new magazines on the table too, as well as maybe a fruit bowl. And then because the table Able to circle we're gonna need a square carpet like that and oh my gosh how cool does that look and how fancy and guys by the way the layout of this house like I said is the exact same but doesn't it look so much more spacious if you just build the rooms a bit higher anyway I don't know if I'm completely happy with that texture so maybe we should actually go extra fancy with a marble and I'm also gonna add a chandelier over the table and the good thing about having a tall room is that you can actually have big chandeliers like this anyway it's time to jump back into the new section because I want some dresses in the entryway so a dresser either side of the window I think looks nice then we're gonna use the new lamp which by the way is my favorite lamp in the game now then I think just some random decorations we can have this really fancy watch just lying here we can have maybe a jewelry stand on here I know that's kind of random for a living room but it just looks so good 
Anyway, I'm now going to add some lights on the wall because that's the only problem with having tall rooms is it kind of is hard to fill the wall space. But anyway, also in the entrance, I want like a shoe area. So we're going to have to use slippers as shoes. Then we're going to get a hat stand like this. And then maybe even some umbrellas as well because they look good in an entryway. And then maybe a mat as you walk in. I mean, I'm not going to have welcome because that is just too tacky for a house like this. Then let's colour everything in this room that needs to be coloured. And I don't know why, it's not uneven, but this sort of looks uneven. So I might move these over a little bit. Then I'm going to add some vents onto the walls. And I think that might be the dining room done. So now we can move on to the living room, which is going to be amazing because look how many dresses we have to use. So I think a good table for the TV would be this one. And I reckon we should get a pretty big TV for this house. And then I definitely want to be using some of the new furniture like this ottoman in the middle and also this bench too. So let's just get these out ready. And actually, this has given me an idea for something I might change over here, but we'll get to that in a minute. I would add the hanging baskets, but I think they just look a bit random in this house so instead i'm going to add the sofas that match the ottoman because if you actually look there were sofas that match this that were already in the game so i'm going to add two along the side here and then one at the back then of course we're going to change the color and i honestly think blue looks kind of nice in this house then also we should probably add the doors in so we don't get confused later on and then anyway what my idea was for over here which i suddenly got is maybe we should have stools on just two sides and then on this side we can have like a little bench and if we actually get custom with this then maybe we could add stools all around the table and look how cool that is and honestly i think that looks way better and plus it gives much more seating and I like the blue of these, but I kind of want them to match this light blue. And then, of course, we need to add some pillows onto these. And just some circle ones should do the trick. And so I'm going to use even more of these new dresses. I'm going to put one each side of them like that. And then we're going to put some of our new lamps on them again. And we actually do need some end tables over here. And actually, we can add a bookshelf over here. So I think we need to move this sofa along a bit. Then here we can add a mini bookshelf. Oh, and I think that looks really cute. Then maybe we can add a mirror above it. I would add this one, but I feel like that's a bit random for a living room. So maybe we could add the industrial one. Oh, that looks fancy. And that is our living room done. I know it's a bit more basic than the dining room, but that is fine. Now the kitchen, we can sort of storm through because they didn't really add much new stuff for the kitchen. But that doesn't mean that we can't renovate it a little bit. So I'm going to start off by using these modern counters. Maybe we have enough room for an island just off the back here. Anyway, let's get this all coloured up so it actually matches the house. And I actually found a really cool thing to do with cabinets, guys. So watch this. Now, let's say I want to use traditional cabinets. Now, of course, they're not going to go all the way up because of how we built the room. If we then get these ones and go up to the second floor and then place them like this... It actually ends up adding like a really cool pattern. And I know it looks weird right now, but let me just colour it all quickly. And honestly, I think that looks quite cool. I know it looks kind of crazy as well, but I love it. And now we should probably put the ovens and stuff in. So I think a house this fancy is definitely going to need a double oven. Then let me just really quickly add all the other appliances. And now we can go into new and see what new stuff could maybe fit in a kitchen. I mean, there really isn't that much, but maybe some car keys. That's something that you have in a kitchen, right? Again, maybe just some magazines on the side. And we all know which stools we're going to be using. And I think that's our kitchen done. And basically the main area of the house. Look how fancy this is. I'm sorry, the new update has made so much possible. Anyway, before we go into the bedroom and the bathroom, we should probably sort the lighting out in here. I'm going to use a fancy chandelier. And then let's pull this down. I'd say about that far is good. And now we need to add in the structural beams that basically will transform the whole roof. So we're going to use these. And I know that they're going to go halfway through the room for now, but I'll show you how to fix that. And look how crazy this looks. But don't worry, guys. We, we just move them up with the transform tool. Easy does it. And imagine doing this, guys, without the transform tool. Like, how difficult would it be? I don't even know if it would be possible. But as you can see, look, that's completely transformed the roof and the room. And the only thing is there's a gap up here. So I'm going to add some shelves. Then up here, we can put some books. But we can also put some of the new stuff. So maybe, like, this random bag. And then maybe just some perfume and then let's colour all of this. And now we can finally move on to the bedroom. But this is where we can really get creative with the new update. Now, first of all, let's put a light in here so we can see. And also, we need to fix these beams. But they're all fixed now. And then I think I want the colour of the bedroom to maybe be like a pastel pink. I think that could look cool. Then let me just add all the structural things in here like pillars and windows and all that kind of stuff. 
And I think we should also add the light in and I'm just gonna add another chandelier because why not just go all out? Then last but not least, let me add in the wall trims and now we can finally start decorating. So I don't know if there's room for a double bed in here. I mean, maybe there is. Let's just put one in anyway. And honestly, I like the color of the bed anyway. So I just changed the sheets and let's get rid of the pillows. So we have a fresh base and you guys know the drill. I'm just gonna place these pillows in a completely random order. And now let's go into new and see what we can add. I know they have a bed cover in here, which by the way, I still am so confused what this is meant to be, but it does look nice. And then obviously we're gonna need to add one of these. Then I'm also gonna add a bench at the end of the bed because that just looks so cool there, I think. Anyway, let's now put their desk down. And I love that there's a desk now with a built-in mirror. It just looks so cool and it makes it so much easier to build. Then maybe we should put a lamp on here. And now we're gonna put everyone's favorite things from the new update, all the new makeup and brushes. A jewelry thing on here, because obviously you need a jewelry stand on your desk. Then over here, I think I want the closet area and I'm gonna use the wardrobes as the closet. And actually guys, I've just had an idea. If we get rid of these shelves, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I feel like it's worth a shot. If we get a basic shape, like a square, with a carpet on top of this, would the wardrobes move with the basic shape? No. I swear there used to be a glitch where you could do this. Maybe it's a table. If we put a table down, oh my gosh, we're just messing up this whole room. Will that work? No. Maybe they've just changed it then. Wait, that's flying. How did that fly? <gasps> oh, we've just, we've just accidentally discovered the way to do it. So if we just resize this as tall as like the wardrobes are, then if we delete this, <gasps> they are flying. And then would it look good if we put more underneath? Oh my gosh, that actually looks so cool. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that is the bedroom done as well. So the last thing we need to do is fix the outside of this house. We're not gonna be able to make it look perfect because as you can see, there are some bits sticking out. So do not judge the outside guys, because as you can see, I'm really rushing it. It's not really that important. And yeah, this looks rubbish from the outside, but it is an interior build. And also I completely forgot about the bathroom. So let's quickly rush doing this. And this is going to be much simpler because as you can see, this is actually just a regular one story room. And then let's start decorating. Now, there's not actually that much we can do in such a small space. So I reckon we're going to have to use this because it has a bath and a shower built in together. Then let's put a chest of drawers in here because I feel like this actually kind of looks like a bathroom chest of drawers as well. Then we should probably actually add a toilet in here and a sink. And then the last thing we can add is the new mirror. And there we go, guys. We have just renovated the starter house with all the new items from the update. Now, please keep in mind, this is definitely an interior build challenge. I mean, look at the outside, it's shocking. So let's go inside. And as soon as you walk in, you are met with just fanciness galore. So like I said in another video where I built with this furniture, I like how it's sort of tacky and looks a bit untidy. So we have a lovely entryway here. We have our dining table, which can seat so many people on it. Then over here, we have our kitchen with again, stools. That, oh my gosh, that actually face the right way for once. And the kitchen is actually really, really cute. I love it. Then we have our living room with some new furniture over here as well. And also if we look up, how good does the ceiling look guys? Then through here we have our bathroom. Whoa, it's so bright in here. And now this is just really, really basic to be honest. The bathroom is just a small addition. And then last but not least, we have the bedroom, which has made a lot of use of the new furniture. It's basically all new in here. And that is the renovated starter house. So in total, it came to 127,000 and I had a lot of fun building it. I hope you guys all liked watching this and I'll see you all next time.